Now, businesses and workers welcome budget measures aimed at helping them thrive beyond the pandemic. Now, one of the measures is a new $60 million fund to spur tech adoption in the local food production. Yesterday, Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet described technology as a game changer, with climate change causing yield to be a lot less predictable. Unpacking the opportunities and challenges with us is Professor William Chen, Michael Pham Chair Professor in Food, Science and Technology at NTU. Welcome, Professor. Assess for us the take-up rate of tech among Singapore's agri-food producers. Thank you for having me on the program. Well, with the government's push uh, towards uh, greater food security in Singapore, uh, it's very encouraging to see more and more uh, technology adoption among these uh, agri-food uh, uh, sectors. So uh, we are not just only seeing the traditional um, agriculture uh, people moving into the uh, tech-driven food space. Uh, we are also seeing a younger and uh, tech-savvy people moving into this space. And uh, so uh, there's a really a hope that uh, uh, this sector will grow uh, over time. And uh, uh, other example will include that uh, existing SMEs uh, they are moving into this food space, not necessarily in the growing uh, uh, crops or, or fish, but they are contributing at a very point in the food value chain. For example, they've been working with us to take up some of the uh, simple and the cost-effective technology uh, to produce functional food, and which are already uh, available on the market. Professor Chen, what, you know, which other sectors do you think might potentially follow in their footsteps in the near term? And how fast can some of these maybe more mature or, or micro enterprises, as well as even the SMEs, jump on this bandwagon? Well, uh, to actually uh, the sustainability in the Singapore context is just about the technology. We also look at the environment to uh, sustain the economy. So uh, beyond food space, we can see easily perhaps uh, uh, e-waste, electronic waste or construction waste and, and uh, plastic waste. So take an example of plastic. Uh, waste. A lot of uh, big companies, they are very keen on adopting um, biodegradable green packaging materials in place of these uh, currently exist, uh, available petrochemical derived plastics. But unfortunately, they are not the uh, manufacturer of these uh, green plastics. So here we see the good opportunity for local SMEs to take up this uh, innovation, which is already available and produce a skill. And uh, in time to come, you know, the, uh, this will be part of this uh, sustainable uh, push for, uh, for our economy. You, you might have touched on a couple of them. What are the other kinds of innovations that are the most feasible for our producers, especially when you bear in mind Singapore's uh, geographical context? <sighs> Well, as we know, we import 90%, more than 90% of the food uh, from uh, over 160 countries uh, because of the limitation in the land available for farming. So uh, uh, creating a circular economy would be actually very important, which means uh, food waste uh, reduction and other type of uh, waste reduction would be uh, very important. So here we see opportunities in, for example, developing sensors to monitor the efficiency of food system uh, or producing such sustainable fish feed, for example, and, and all these are the simple examples uh, uh, which can actually uh, implement, we can easily implement technology which may not necessarily be disruptive. Well, food producers here in Singapore do face plenty of challenges, so why aren't more of them perhaps adopting technology, Professor? Uh, well, I could see probably a, a few uh, factors. First one is that uh, people tend to link uh, technology with a cost in investment, and they may not be certain of the uh, return of investment. This is one. The second one is awareness. Uh, they may not be aware that a lot of uh, innovation are already available in Singapore. Uh, uh, for example, we talk about the tech innovation, which can be easily applicable uh, for the food space, for local HLs, uh, institutes of uh, higher learnings. So uh, here at NTU, we are currently working with government agency to push out a new initiative to connect the, this uh, dot 
uh, not just uh, sort of uh, uh, make these uh, solutions uh, developed by HLs uh, to the commercial market, but also uh, make make them relevant to the problem statement from the big companies. Here we see the opportunity for local SMEs to actually take up these innovations and then uh, produce them at scales. And with the help, technical help from uh, experts from the HLs, I think there will be a lot of room to uh, really push for this uh, efficient and sustainable uh, economy and system in Singapore. Professor Chen, thank you very much for your perspectives and uh, being with us this evening. That was uh, Professor Thank William you. Chen there, Michael Pham Chair, Professor in Food Science and Technology at NTU.